Hi, today I'm going to show you how to prepare an object for 3D printing in Lightwave. 3D printing uh, most of the time require a uh, file format named STL and Lightwave doesn't support that so we have to go to a third part developer and download this and Chrome Cow have an STL tools we can use. So go to uh, chromecard.com and download this file. When you have uh, unzipped that, that file, you will end up with a folder that have two files in it, STL exporter and importer. This file have to be added to the plugins folder. And the plugins folder is it's found under uh, application in Norwegian programmer and uh, then a folder called new tech and you have to choose the the application folder you are using in this uh, example i'm using uh, lightweave 11.05 and in this folder you have a support folder and in this folder you have a plugins folder and here you have an in output folder you need to copy this file into this folder. I already done that as you can see here. Then the next step is to go back to modeler and go to utilities and uh, edit plugin. There is two way to add plugins to your folder. You can add plugins manually, as I'm going to do here. I'm in my the same folder. You see Lightface support plugins in output, and here I have my th two uh, plugins. And you will f have two plugins found in two files. The other way to, to add it is just scan directory and it will find all the plugins that not installed. When you have done this you would expect that this is coming to show up here in export but it doesn't. I don't know why. But if you go to utilities and additionals you will find this export and import here on this menu. The next thing to do is to prepare a file and this is just an example file not uh, very important but I've done a few things with it. It's uh, sub-patched to uh, see a little uh, things you need to think about. When you have sub-patch an object like this, you cannot export this object right away. You have to go to construct and choose freeze after. If you don't like the uh, resolution of this model, you can also cancel, press O on your keyboard and uh, increase the number of uh, patch level you are going to, to use. I don't remember if it's a patch or uh, Catmull Clark level I'm using. It's Catmull Clark, yeah. So you will also see that this object is a uh, way uh, more uh, smooth when you do. And then we go back to freeze, and you see the object is made of more polygons. How many? it's uh, up to you but too many can uh, resolve in some problem with some 3d printers so um, don't go crazy about this item the next thing to do is to be sure that symmetry is turned off otherwise this object is going to to crash and be distorted in way <laughs> I don't understand why. It's also recommended that you s uh, save this file in uh, 
lightweight format before exporting. And then it's time to go to utilities and additional and choose export. Now you need to tell where to export this file. And in my case, I save it on my uh, desktop. And give it a name. Um, test.stl But there is a little problem with STL. You have to add another slash in the name. Otherwise it's going to end up in the folder Ben. Or in your case, your username. Not in the folder you are uh, pointing at. So, when this is done, I just export and you will see here it's exporting my file. It's jumping from back and forth and there is uh, probably the reason why SMH is not working. So now I go to my uh, desktop folder and look for my STL file. I open this file in uh, Pleasant Pleasant, I don't know how it's what it's called. And here you can see my my object in STL file ready to print. I hope you like this tutorial and uh, please press like and subscribe to my channel. There will be more and uh, feel free to fr to share it with others on YouTube and um, have a nice day.